It's called Quiet Skies, but it's causing a loud uproar around the country. The program allows federal air marshals to spy on U.S. citizens without their knowledge. Now, whether you fly or not, it's a privacy issue. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live at O'Hare, where many are saying this goes too far. Hi, Mike. Hi. Well, it's a program that has been around in some form or another for the past eight years. But for most people, learning that American citizens with no criminal backgrounds can be tracked in such a manner, well, it came as quite a shock. It's like Big Brother's watching you or something. That's how many travelers view the ultra-secret surveillance program called Quiet Skies. I think that it's extremely invasive. The operation allows armed agents working for the Transportation Security Administration to secretly follow American citizens while on flights. And they can do that even if their targets are not suspected or accused of any crimes. It's targeting me when I didn't do anything. But the TSA tells CBS News ordinary Americans are not targeted and that people are not profiled based on religion or race. Star Padilla isn't so sure. It's a really slippery slope. I like to be safe. I don't mind taking off my shoes and having them check my bag, but to be followed and me not knowing, I think that's terrifying. TSA isn't saying whether any terrorist plots have been prevented by quiet skies, but the Boston Globe, which broke the story, is reporting that about 35 American citizens are followed each day. Kelly Backey says that's a small price to pay for safety. I think it's good. I think no harm, no foul. But others say the harm is immeasurable. It's a little scary just because it feels like in this day and age with technology and everything else that we aren't really, we don't really have private lives anymore. I think it's terrible. I think it's a great violation of uh, basic, you know, First Amendment freedoms and uh, there's no place for it in America. Seems like overkill. Are you kidding me? It's like ridiculous. Get off my back, Jack. Now, we reached out to TSA in the hopes of getting an on-camera interview and have yet to hear back. They say the goal of Quiet Skies, though, is to keep Americans safe at 30,000 feet. Reporting live at O'Hare, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron? Mike, thank you.